I just want to put this simple video together showing how you can hook up a three-way or five-way guitar switch or any guitar switch. You can download a diagram off the internet, that's not a big deal, but sometimes you notice that the pattern on the diagram doesn't match up with the switch that you have. So uh, all you need to really do is test for continuity and for that you need a multimeter or voltmeter and uh, it's pretty simple and I'll show you how to do it. So first I just want to explain briefly what continuity means. Um, I'm not testing the current or voltage that's in the guitar. Uh, this guitar is not even plugged in. Uh, just like this drill bit. This drill bit is sitting here. It's not hooked up to any power supply. But if I put this probe over here and then this one on this side, uh, I'm going to get a reading because current could go through it. And just like this twisted up piece of wire, it's impossible really to tell where the wire goes through this mess. So you would just touch on one side, touch on the other, and there's no reading. And then you try the other one. Obviously, that's the one. So if you were to hook this, if this were your piece of wire that you wanted to hook up to something, you would hook this end up and this end, and you know that current's going to run through and get to where you want. So it's basically the same thing with, with one of these. It's all a switch, and there's a whole bunch of switches in here. Where they go, it's hard to, to tell when you're looking at it. So that's what testing for continuity means. And I'll show you exactly what I mean on this guitar. So what I'm going to do is kind of make my own diagram. So just a pen or a pencil and a piece of paper. But I'm going to roughly draw this switch. So there's six connections where the pickups are connected to. And then one in the middle. That uh, goes down to the, the volume pot. All these switches are pretty much the same. Except different configurations. And that's where it gets confusing. So we're going to figure out in which position... Uh, which one of these leads is like the hot lead? One, two, three. Okay, so this is the one that goes out to the the volume pot, and these are the ones that the uh, pickup will attach to. So that's the thing we have to figure out which one of those we're going to hook our pickups to. Okay, so in this case, what we want to do is flip this down to the uh, bridge position, so that's set up where we would want the uh, the bridge pickup only. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our multimeter and we're going to start testing. So let's see here. This Okay, so that one is a connection. Nothing. Nothing. I'm just going to switch these. It doesn't matter if you use the red or black. Uh, okay, that one. That one we got a we got continuity, nothing. And nothing. Okay. Okay, so we know now that this one, first position, and this one, first position, which is, let's see, just make this uh, the bridge. Okay, so that's, we know now that's where we hook the bridge pickup to, and, and in, in that position, only the bridge pickup will work. Okay, so we remember to flip it. Okay, now we're in the second position. This time, uh, with this guitar, there's two pickups, and uh, for the middle position, we want both pickups uh, working. So what we're going to do is we're going to, okay, by this time, it's probably no surprise. Okay, nothing. Yep, that one. Nothing. Oop, nothing. Yep. And nothing. Now you can kind of figure out what's happening here. Okay, so now we know that this one and this one is both the neck and the bridge. Or at least second position. Okay, now for the last position. And that would be the, the neck only. It seems kind of overkill. Um, we kind of know exactly what's going to happen at this point. Nothing. Nothing. Yep, okay, no big surprise there. That one's working. Nope, nothing. Nothing. Okay. Um, but like I said, you want to make sure. You go through all of them just to make sure. You Even if the switch wasn't working, this is where you'd find out. So we know the switch is working, and we know exactly what 
where to hook our pickups to. Okay, so we're just going to fill in the last two, which is the neck position. Okay, it seems kind of simple, but at first we didn't know which one from the other, so now we know exactly which connection to hook our pickups up to, and uh, there's no mystery. We know exactly what we're doing, 100%. Okay, I've got uh, everything covered up with some paper towel because uh, with the solder you don't want to get little splashes of solder on your guitar body. Um, I got these uh, terminals all uh, fluxed up here. Now with this one, this is the uh, the neck pickup wire. Okay, the reason I hooked up the neck pickup to both these terminals is because in the last position, the neck position, which uh, will be this one, you'll get neck only. In the middle position, this one, you'll get neck and bridge. So we need to connect both those together. Okay, now we're going to do the exact same thing with the, uh, the bridge pickup connector connections here. Okay, that's pretty much it. We've got the neck position in position uh, the third and middle position and we have the bridge in the first and middle position. So all we have to do now is hook up our black wires uh, to the volume pot and then we can test it and see how good we did. Alright, we want to check our wiring job to make sure it's working properly. Uh, we don't need strings. I just have the guitar plugged into my little shop amp uh, that I use for testing. And what we're going to do is put that in the first position, make sure the volume is up. And that is the bridge position, so only the bridge pickup should work. And we just tap it with a screwdriver. And you can definitely hear that there's a sound coming out. And we have nothing coming out of the out of the neck or out of the neck pickup, so that's good. Um, that's what we want. So we'll put it into the middle position, which should be both pickups. So try this one. Yeah, that's working. Yeah, we can hear that one. Up into the last position, which should only be the neck pickup. Okay, we have no sound there, which is good. Yep. Okay, we know that this is wired up correctly and uh, there's not much more we can do. The guitar in this video was built by a talented and creative guitar builder named Scott Bodden, who is also a very good friend of mine. Scott has built many guitars over the years, but lately he has been creating these heavily relic Telecasters. He uses new parts and then relics them to only look as if they've seen better days. Scott has an amazing eye for detail, and he not only relics the necks and bodies, but even the tiniest of screws. I will leave Scott's contact info in the description, or you can contact me and I will forward your message to him.